Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting algebraic problem. We have x times square root of 1 plus x squared multiplied by y plus square root of 1 plus y squared equals 1. And we're going to find x plus y from here. Obviously, there is a lot of approaches that you can take, such as you can replace x or y with certain values and then find the other one from there and then find x plus y. But you also have to show that x plus y is always a constant. Anyways, I'll be presenting two methods besides all those. Let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to use the power of conjugates. So let's go ahead and isolate x plus square root of 1 plus x squared. Divide both sides by this. So you can rationalize the denominator on the second one by multiplying it by the conjugate. So it's going to be y minus square root of 1 plus y squared divided by the same thing. And when you do that, the left hand side is going to be unchanged. The right hand side, this is going to give you y minus square root of 1 plus y squared. And the bottom is going to be from difference of two squares, y squared minus the quantity 1 plus y squared. And when you, when you subtract those, you're going to get negative 1 because y squared is going to cancel out, right? So this is equivalent to y minus square root of 1 plus y squared. Let me rewrite it. Divide by negative 1. Dividing by negative 1 is the same as multiplying by negative 1, so it's just going to negate everything. So we're going to get the following from here. Negative y plus square root of 1 plus y squared. All right? So that is the first equation we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and put it in a different form, such as maybe put bring the um, square root of 1 plus y squared to the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and subtract it. So bring these two radicals together and everything else together on the right-hand side. So we can write this as negative y minus x. All right? So that's going to be our equation number one. And I'm going to get another equation. I'm going to call that equation number two. And then we're going to look at those equations together. Okay? Now, what we did here can obviously also be done uh, the other way around. So we can isolate the y. And let's rewrite the original problem. The original problem was x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared multiply by y plus the square root of 1 plus y squared equals 1. And we're trying to find x plus y. Okay, so let's go ahead and isolate the y term. We can write it as 1 over that. And basically by going through the same thing, by going through like multiplying by conjugates, you know, so on and so forth, we're going to get the following. You're going to multiply this by x minus this, the top and the bottom. That's going to give you this on top. And at the bottom, you're going to get negative 1. So from here, you're going to get y plus square root of 1 plus y squared equals negative x plus square root of 1 plus x squared. And where do we go from here? Remember, the first equation had 1 plus x squared and 1 plus y squared, the square roots on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Let's bring the square root of 1 plus x squared here and put the y on the right-hand side. So this is our equation number two. Okay. By doing the same thing on different variables, we got two equations. Now we're going to go ahead and put these together. How? Let's rewrite equation number one square root of 1 plus x squared minus the square root of 1 plus y squared equals negative y minus x. This is equation number one. And equation number two, we can just copy off of here. Okay, now what does this tell you? You can go ahead and solve this as a system. So this gives us very interesting information. Let's go ahead and add these two equations. This, these two cancel out. These two cancel out leaving us with 0 on the left-hand side and negative 2x minus 2y on the right-hand side, which means negative 2 times x plus y is equal to 0, which means x plus y is equal to 0. So we were looking for x plus y, and we got it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. 
So the first method, one more time, basically involves isolating one of the factors and then uh, doing it for both variables and then solving it as a system ends up giving us x plus y equals 0. Okay, second method is going to be different. So let's rewrite the original problem. This is given. And we're supposed to find x plus y from here. Let's go ahead and use substitution because substitution is powerful, right? So let's go ahead and call this a. So x plus square root of 1 plus x squared equals a. And this implies a couple different things, right? We can isolate the radical, square both sides, x squared cancels out, and our goal here should be to solve for x or y, x or a, I mean. You don't want to solve for a, you want to solve for x. So let's go ahead and do it, and it's easier to. 2ax equals x a squared minus 1, and from here x becomes a squared minus 1 over 2a. So we got the value of x in terms of a by using substitution. And guess what? This gives us another um, equation, because if this is a, then this must be 1 over a. Obviously, a does not equal 0, uh, right? a shouldn't equal 0, because it can't be. But this gives us another equation, so let's go ahead and explore that. y plus square root of 1 plus a, y squared is equal to 1 over a. And we're going to do the exact same thing, right? So let's go ahead and isolate the radical. Square both sides. This is like, you know, kind of a minus b or b minus a, whatever. 1 over a squared minus 2y over a plus y squared, right? So from here, y squared cancels out, and our goal should be to solve for y. Let's put 2y over a here, and 1 over a squared minus 1 on the right-hand side. Let's make a common denominator. Now to solve for y, we do need to multiply both sides by a over 2. Let's go ahead and do it. That way these two are going to cancel out. And y is going to become the following. a squared, a cancels out, ending, ending with, up with 1 minus a squared over 2a. So we got the value of x and y in terms of a third variable, or a dummy variable, or a parameter, whatever you want to call that, which is a. And we're looking for x plus y. So let's go ahead and add these up. a squared minus 1 over 2a plus 1 minus a squared over 2a. And guess what? They have the same denominator, so we can just add the numerators. And everything in the numerator cancels out, leaving us with 0, which means x plus y is equal to 0 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.